Welcome to Self-Publishing Authors, home for candid talks and honest recommendations from book editing to book marketing, from author journeys to inspirations, hosted by Gurhan Demirkan. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we are here with uh, Julia Walker. Uh, she is a reviewer, book reviewer, and uh, we're also here with Jenny, Jenny Rosenblum. She is an editor and a book reviewer. So today we are going to do a review on the fifth daughter of Thorn Ranch, right? Yeah. And uh, our, yes, our process is, first, we're first going to start with uh, the uh, cover of the book. Hey, uh, you guys want to raise the book up and uh, let everybody see, you know, we're doing okay. Yes, yeah. the fifth daughter of Thorn Ranch. And I'm assuming this is uh, all about uh, Texas. Yes, ladies. <laughs> place in Texas. Yes. 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 Okay. So let's talk about the uh, first. Of course, our process is first. We're going to talk about the uh, uh, the cover. So, what do you all think? One by one. You want to go, uh, Julia? Um, I think the cover is interesting. It's a little muted. So at first glance, it was kind of hard to tell exactly what it is. Um, mm -hmm. but it's actually taken from the idea standpoint of you're inside a cave looking out, um, which ends up being very, imp a, an important part of the book. Um, okay. of course you don't know that when you pick it up, I, I wish that the lettering, the title was somehow done differently because I think it's not as easy to see if you're walking through a bookstore. Uh, I don't think you're going to gravitate to the cover because it's rather muted. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and I think digitally okay. it didn't show up as well as when I got the actual paper version. I couldn't see the nuances and the little person down here on the horse. And so it, it's much better in, in paper version than the digital version. I couldn't get... And yes, the title was was hard to okay. see. Yeah, yeah, that's what I call I call those uh, scroll stoppers. You know, when you're scrolling, uh, yeah. either Barnes and Noble or anything like that, it should stop you. So yeah, uh, so the uh, cover should be or should have been designed a little bit better. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll we'll send a message to the uh, uh, author. <laughs> um, I'm sure she's going to be watching this, right? <laughs> this is the review of her book. <laughs> okay, so we're going to, okay, this is all good. And let's just talk about the plot. Okay, so is, is it gripping? Tell me something about the plot. Do you want to go, uh, Jenny, this time? Sure. So what I liked about this book was the plot was not evident in the first couple chapters. It takes you a while to get into the story. Um, you think it's going in one direction and, and then there's a left turn. And, and even the left turn, it, for me, for a little while, I had trouble trying to decide where it was going. Once I knew where it was going, I could get into it, thoroughly enjoyed it, but the plot has some twists and turns and not necessarily in the typical sense of twists and turns, like a whodunit or something. This is more of the, uh -huh. um, the scenery changes, the environment changes, the main character stays the same, but her world and the people around her change dramatically. Um, so I kind of enjoy a little bit of a challenge. Um, and that's what this was for me to that's follow good. everything. So does it make you like continue reading the book? There's, there's characters in there okay. now that I want to know what happened or what was their backstory. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. How, how about you, Julia? Yeah, I agree. Um, you start off thinking it's going one direction. Uh, then it takes a different direction. The different direction is intriguing and gripping and you want to find out what in the world where is this going to go now it kind of throws you for a loop but it's a good loop and okay. um yeah i don't think there's any way you could read the first 
50 pages and not be intrigued as to what's going to happen. Okay. So uh, you do guys, you guys do recommend this, you know, plot is cool. Yes. yes. She Actually, did it. I think the plot's really good. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a gripping plot and uh, keeps you reading. Well, that's one of the main things of a book, right? Yes. I like being surprised. I mean, come on. Yes. We read a lot. And so when, if Julia or I are surprised, then that's a good thing. <laughs> yes. That's a good thing for reviewers to be surprised. You know? Right. <laughs> yes. You, you want to, in my mind, you want a book that's going to stretch you a little bit. And uh -huh. this definitely stretches you. Uh, okay. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. Uh, what about the main character? I mean, uh, I'm sure we have the plot about the main character. And uh, Jenny talked about the main character a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Emma. Emma is the main character. And he, a woman of a certain age like I am sometimes gets a little <laughs> not patient with 20-somethings. And at first, I was a little <laughs> not patient with the uh, main character. Um, but once they started giving you background and previous uh, generations of the women who have run this ranch, I mm -hmm. could see how she was evolving. But at first okay. I was like, oh, really? <laughs> but I don't know if, you know, it would have been different if it was me either at that age. So <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think that just uh, concerns everybody, you know, here. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. you know, I'm 18. So what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, Julia? What, what, what are you, Julia? Like 28? Oh, you're very close to that. Very yes. close to that. Yeah. Uh, did, so what do you think about Emma the main bother character? You? Um, you know, I think for me, Emma was, um, she's a good character. I'm going mm -hmm. to argue, and I think this is the place to bring it up. I'm going to argue that this is a coming of age story. She's, okay. she's a little bit older than you normally think of a coming of age story. But you mm -hmm. know, different people mature at different times. And if you are the only child in a family that is all about family, um, it seems to me that there's a good chance you're going to come of age a little later in life. Mm -hmm. Good point. Yeah. Um, so I would argue that this is the story of Emma's coming in age, uh, coming of age. She has to figure out in this story who is who she is separate from her family. And she also has to figure out exactly what her chosen role is going to be inside the family versus the family's expectations. And okay. given, given the story, the plot of the story, um, she's going to have to, she's got to make some choices. She's forced to make some choices. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, that's a good point. Cause she does mature very quickly. Yes. So that's part of the growing up mm -hmm. process. Yes. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yes. So okay. even though she is an adult, uh, mm -hmm. technically she's a very young adult, young adult. Okay. So this book is actually YA, you know, young adult, maybe, maybe not. I, I would think that that should be the target audience. Now we all know that that was the case <laughs> for uh, how many books recently have been written, mm -hmm. uh, the hunger games, um, yeah. The Twilight Saga, all those kind of books were written for young adults. And I would have argued that they were more for adults than young adults. This one, I would argue, is more for young adults. But adults are going to enjoy it as well. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, I think the so, supporting uh, characters help that. Yeah. A supporting. How many supporting characters do we have? One, two? Uh, no, no. Let's see. Well, they're her parents. There's the other community. There's at least two uh -huh. strong willed people there. Um, okay. There's, there's tiny people that come in and out of her life that um, work on the ranch that have an impact on her. 
Okay. So, and all of those are well developed. I'm, I, okay. I like awesome. some of the supporting characters very much. Yeah. yeah. I'm cool. going to argue that there's quite a few supporting characters that play a big role in her life. Yeah. I, mean, I can, okay. I can name five individual characters that are extremely important. And then as Jenny mentioned, there's the community in which she finds herself living in two different places. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So the book is well written, actually. Supporting characters, the strong character, main character, plot is cool, you know, yeah. very nicely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What about the hook? The hook. Yes. Um, hmm. I've never thought of it that way. The <laughs> So the hook for me ended up not being the hook. You know, I nope. read the blurb and expected a different book. I don't know if, were you on the same page with that, Julia? Yes, the book turned out to be very different than what I was expecting it to be. Yeah. Um, oh. Yeah. This, yeah, and. Oh. This is one okay. of the occasions um, I have found over my reading career that, that oftentimes the blurb on the back of the book or on the inside cover doesn't actually match the book that well. I always wonder why, <laughs> why, um, but it doesn't match the book that well. And this book, it, I honestly don't know if I would have read it had the hook been revealed. Oh, um, yeah, nice. I agree because that's, I, yeah, I, I kind of liked the surprise. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. You know, I, make... I, I keep getting these messages. I have to say this, but uh, the reason why I keep getting these messages is because my uh, nephew is having a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Very fun. Very fun. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You know, <laughs> and I can't stop it for some reason. I just keep getting these messages, you know. <laughs> anyway, so we'll get back to the hook. And yeah. uh, so, so the way that I'm uh, uh, visioning this book, uh, even though the uh, cover, you guys don't give uh, five stars, let's put it that way. Uh, but uh, the content, the characters, the plot, uh, the hook, uh, you guys uh, are quite intrigued about this book. Am I, am I right? Yes. And we're also very hard graders when it comes to uh, reviews. Yes. Um, so for us to agree on a book. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> very rare. <laughs> We've had many discussions with, what were you reading? I didn't say that. But... <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So we're going to talk about this book a little bit. We did talk about it. Uh, it's a branch and uh, I'm sure there's a problem, right? Yes. And uh, the book is cool. What, what's that? A rather large problem. A rot yep. Okay. That's awesome. So overall, let's just talk about uh, how many stars for the book? Four stars. Great. What about you, Julia? Well, I'm going to give it a 3.5. 3.5. There is, um, as much as I like the book, and I have to say that I would, I would recommend the book to a lot of people. Um, there is, to me, a um, kind of glaring issue in the book um, that I can't after much thought and discussion, obviously with Jenny, I can't mm -hmm. reconcile how the author got there. There's some, there's a piece left out. Okay. Um, it's a very well-written book. The story's very good. I should also tell you that I'm so hard of a grader that or rater, however you want to say it. I don't give a book five stars unless it's a book that I would see, could see myself reading again. It has oh, to be a book yeah. that I want to keep a copy of that I would be willing to read again. So it's hard. There aren't, 
in one sense, there's a lot of books I will give a five to, but in another sense, there aren't that many books I'm going to give a five to. Okay. Yeah. So let me just say that, but there is, um, there is a missing piece in the book in my mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I agree, awesome. but it didn't bug me as much as it bugged you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I have one more question though, uh, about the reviews. Let's take the cover out of the subject. Okay. Okay. And let's grade the book. How many stars? Or did your four star or three and a half star include uh, the cover? It didn't include no? the cover. No. No. Okay. Okay. No. So I that is found, the content of the book. I have found that the cover, um, the covers, the issue on whether or not you go through a store and pick up the book. Mm -hmm. It's not yeah. so much if you're looking at actual reviews of if, is this a good book? It's much more about if you're in person around the book, what cover grabs you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and I will take someone's recommendation, which is how we got this book was someone else referred us to it. Um, okay. I would take their recommendation over a bad cover, you know, where in the bookstore, oh, I might not have picked okay. it up, but because, mm -hmm. you know, somebody yeah. said, Hey, this is, you know, a Texas saga, Texas generational mm -hmm. women, you know, it's like, okay, these are things I all, I like. Uh -huh. So yes, that, that makes a difference too. Okay. Um, so as far as you two are concerned, you are good to give this recommendation to everybody that yes, you should read this book. Yes. Am I understanding yes. correctly? Yeah. 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 I would yes. just, it's a read. Yes. It's definitely a read. Um, especially mm -hmm. for those who like historical fiction, um, Texas history, um, want mm -hmm. something, I don't know, quirky, Julia, would you agree with me? There's a little quirky in there when you're trying to follow the plot. Uh, Definitely unique. I mean, oh, yeah, okay. definitely <laughs> unique. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm going to give her a lot of credit for the plot idea because yeah. it's really unique and that alone makes it worth reading. Mm -hmm. And okay. awesome. she did an excellent job of pulling it off. Yes. Um, there's just, yeah. like I said, there's just one piece that I'm like, <laughs> and I'm spoiled because I know I work with Jenny enough that I know as an editor, she'd have picked it up immediately and said, okay, wait, how did the <laughs> character get from point A to point B? Uh -huh. um, you know, yeah. there's something missing in between the two. So yeah. 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 Okay. Awesome. Well, as long as it's a read, it's all good. And uh, three and a half stars to four stars. It's uh, awesome. Uh, I wanted to thank you all, and I am sure the author is going to be thrilled to hear that you guys are recommending this book. <laughs> Very hard graders, and one of them is actually even an editor, you know? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, yeah. awesome. Thank you very much for your time, and uh, we'll push this out and uh, let everybody know that uh, they should read this book then. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Rahan. Okay, thank you. Welcome to Self-Publishing Authors, home for candid talks and honest recommendations from book editing to book marketing, from author journeys to inspirations, hosted by Gurhan Demirkan.